Hey guys, it's Miss Sarah here. So I am going to be doing a video for you guys today and I'll be showing you um, how to do a full face of makeup using only e.l.f. products. Um, e.l.f. is uh, the eyes, lips, and face products that you can uh, find at Walmart, um, Walgreens, Rite Aid, uh, different stores like that. Um, e.l.f. is one of the cheaper beauty products that you can find, especially at Walmart. So, um, I got everything that I need for, um, my makeup, uh, from Walmart. It's all e.l.f. Um, the only thing I forgot to buy an e.l.f. was mascara, so I won't have to use the mascara I already have. But, everything else down to my moisturizer is e.l.f. brand. So, I'm going to apply my moisturizer and we'll get started. So, I've started to put my moisturizer on. And I washed my hands beforehand because you know Corona. <laughs> but I put my moisturizer on, and I have dry skin, so I think whatever moisturizer you use depends on the kind of skin that you have. So my skin is super dry, so I have to get one that is. Um, really good for moisturizing your skin because your makeup won't lay right if your skin's dry. So, and again, I'm using all e.l.f. products. So this one is, they have a couple of different types of um, moisturizers and primers. This one is the Glow Radiant Moisturizer and plus coconut and um, it's SPF 15. So, I smell like the beach, which is even better. So, I've got my moisturizer on. And now, I'm going to put my, what's this one? Not this one. What other three colors? Three colors. Thank you, foundation. My friend Tori had to help me with that. Foundation. Again, this is e.l.f. and it's the BB Cream. Um, I got the shade Beige, I believe. And it also has SPF 20 sunscreen in it, which is awesome. Super important to keep sunscreen on us. Even, you know, we think we don't need it if we're not, you know, at a pool or at the beach, but it's important to keep it on. So. I have a brush that I can use for this, but for my foundation, but I use my fingers. I think it goes on a little bit better. So again, that's why it's important to make sure your hands are washed really well before you apply, especially if you are using your finger to apply your foundation. So I'm going to apply the rest of my foundation and then I'll be back. Okay. So I've got my foundation on, and this has done a really good job covering. Um, it's matched my skin tone well, which is good, because when you're buying foundation and stuff like this from uh, Walmart, it's not like you can really test it out, so you just kind of guess and hope for the best. So. I have my foundation on. It's covered really well. It's kind of hard to see, but um, now I'm going to go in with my Elf 16 hour uh, concealer and use my little Elf sponge here. And I've seen people apply this differently. I guess it's to each their own, um, but I do under my eyes, and I kind of like fan out like this. I feel like I'm like warping on purpose, but I go down, out. There's probably somebody out there watching this. Like, mm, she 
And you just blend it in. And you just about beat your face to death, truth be told. Putting all this on, but it's just to kind of help. You all probably don't have to worry about dark circles, Miss Sarah does. So, it covers up the dark circles a little bit better. Makes me feel like I'm being ball brown. Okay, so now I'm going to use the L uh, HD powder and I've got it out and I'm taking my brush, dabbing it and rub this in. It's really a lot. It's not like super thick and cakey, which is good too. your powder so now I'm gonna get my bronzer out and go okay so now I'm gonna use my uh, primer infused bronzer um, it's for long lasting wear which is awesome um, and then I guess the color that I picked was forever sun kissed so that's the packaging this is what the, the container looks like so I'm gonna take my <coughs> bronzer brush And then you'll apply your bronzer on your your cheekbones, so on this side and this side. And then I do a little on either side of my nose, but I don't do a ton on either side of my nose. So just So now we're going to do our blush. This is what your the packaging is. Um, it is also primer infused. And the shade for this one is always rosy. So that's what your packaging looks like. This is what the container looks like. And <clears throat> you 
don't ever want to do a ton of blush. You don't want your face to look super red. So I just get a little and I apply it. I will look so silly putting it on. But I smile and I put it on the balls of my cheeks, like right underneath my eyes. And then you're not going to keep these harsh lines where you're going to blend all that in. So I get a little bit on my brush and smile and apply it to the balls of my cheek. Like I said, it's really silly because you're smiling, but that's where you want to blush it. take another a separate brush and then you're gonna blend everything together and blend it in that way you don't have you know the harsh lines it'll be more blended <clears throat> and look a little bit more natural Concept is blending in your concealer. You don't know about things you're putting in there, but it's important that you make sure. Now I'm going to get my highlighter out and we will apply that. So now we're going to do our highlighter and I have done the baked highlighter and the color that I got was um, Boomlock Pearls. That's your packaging and it looks very similar to the So I'll take the highlighter brush. And sometimes I can go a little crazy with my highlight. But with highlight, less is more. You don't want to look like a disco ball. Or Edward Cullen, not that any of you all would get that reference, but do your homework, watch Twilight, it's good. So, for my highlighter, I go in and I put it at the tops of my cheekbones. And here, I'll dust a little bit on the, like, very end of my nose, right above my lip, and underneath my chin. So, here's the tops of my cheekbones. brush and kind of blend that in too so it's not so harsh and it's more subtle as opposed to if you can see the difference so you want to make sure that you are rubbing it in really well I'm going to do that to my nose Now I'm going to get my eyeshadow stuff out and get that ready and we'll start on that. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to do our eyeshadow. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to use the highlighter that I just used on my cheeks to do the insides of my eyelid and my brow bone. So 
I'm going to take a little brush and just dust it into the corner and then pull it a little bit on the brow. I'll do that to the side. Just it in the corner like that. Kind of pat it to blend it. That's the cool thing too, um, the eyeshadow palette that I got didn't have a liner shade, um, so that's the neat thing is I'm able to use my highlighter palette as eyeshadow, which is pretty cool. There are some people who like will take a thing of lipstick and like do their whole face of makeup with it, it's crazy, so. Okay, so now that I've done that. This is the eyeshadow palette that I got from Walmart. It's up as well. Um, I think this one is called Pumpkin Pie. I like more um, earth tones. I like browns, um, colors like that. Um, I think those look better on me. I don't do um, a lot of grays or blacks. Um, I just think earth tones look a little bit better on me. Um, oranges, uh, some reds. So it's just a matter of trial and error what works best. So I'm gonna take this first color right here and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid. Now I have my base color applied. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get a different brush and darker color right here. I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to take the brush and get into my crease. Thank you. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to take my other brush that's a little bit, um, and it's also uh, I'm showing you the same brush, I think so. And I'm going to go in and just tap along on the outside edge so it kind of blends in. So there's that. Got our, our brown added in. <clears throat> and then the last one. <clears throat> we're going to let's see, I think I'll do shimmer and do a little bit of that make sure you on the outside corner You gotta go to Sephora to get good makeup. Okay, Elle. Let's see. So, so there we've got that. And you can see I've kind of got some. <clears throat> I keep a makeup off handy. Yeah, that gets messy. Um, but I've got a little bit of. Now we've got our eyeshadow done. So now I'll get my mascara out, we'll curl our lashes, and we'll do our mascara and we'll be done. Okay, so now we're gonna curl our lashes, put our mascara on, and we will be done. 
So, um, make sure, this is very important, make sure that when you're using, if you use an eyelash curler, that you have your cushion in the curler, because if not, you will cut your eyelashes off. Nobody wants that. So, I'm going to make sure our eyelashes are in the curler. Hold that there for a second. Okay, go in and do the same thing on the other side. Hold it there for a second. Now I've heard a trick if you're gonna be going somewhere and you need your lashes to stay curled. I've heard a trick that some people do is that they'll take a blow dryer and they'll put it on low heat and on a low setting and heat the for just maybe, maybe 30 seconds. I'll probably even only do like 10 or 15 seconds. Blow the eyelash curler and then it kind of works like a curling iron on your hair and it does that with your lashes. I've tried that before and it's worked um, pretty well. And like I said, I forgot my e.l.f. mascara. I'm sorry to let you down. So I'm having to use the mascara I already had. Um, and it, it works really well for me. Um, I'm about out, but with everything being closed, I'm having to wait until they open back up to get more. But I've been using um, Urban Decay. So, go in. And then I blink when I put it on. It's just easier that way. And I don't wear eyeliner a lot, but I know that if you take your eyelash, like the wand, and you get at your root and you kind of like shake as you pull it up, it'll apply it really thick like at your root and it kind of gives off the illusion of having eyeliner on. That's what I do. I don't wear eyeliner a lot. I have sometimes just be a little too messy for me. So I'll do the same thing over here. I'll blink, 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 blink. And make sure I'm getting the inside of my mascara. I mean my eyelashes with my mascara. And take it to the top like I did in the other one and curl out. And then do my little trick I taught you. Take it, get to the base, and shake and pull it out. bottom It's all covered. There we go. So now I can unclip my bangs, bring them back out, and fix them back in 
place. And there we go. We have successfully done a full face of makeup only using e.l.f. products. Might have some on here, but still. Um, just using e.l.f. all the way down to moisturizer. Um, I think the most I spent on any product was $10. I think I spent $10 on the moisturizer, but it, I don't, I'm not sure if you all saw it, but like, it's a pretty big bottle. And moisturizer, you don't have to use a lot of. Um, it's not like lotion necessarily, um, so you don't have to use a lot of it on your face. So that should last. That should last you quite a while. Um, I think the cheapest item I bought was probably two dollars or three dollars, um, and I believe that was I believe that was my highlighter um, was two dollars. Um, I think my my or my eyeshadows are only three or four. So super affordable. You can find it at Walmart, uh, Walgreens, or Rite Aid, um, any any store like that, wherever you are. So yeah, um, I think it turned out pretty well for um, some Walmart makeup. So don't let people tell you you have to have super expensive makeup to do a good job because I think this looks pretty good for some Walmart bought makeup. So. Um, yeah, that's everything. So if you guys go out and you decide to get some of the products and try it yourselves, um, make sure you take pictures and um, post them um, on our Facebook page underneath the video um, in the comment section because I'd love to see how everything turned out. If you tried something that I didn't try, if you found an e.l.f. product or maybe even a product cheaper than an e.l.f. product that worked just as well or better, um, share the wealth. That's what we're, that's what we're supposed to do. We're going to uh, share all of our tips and tricks. So uh, yeah, just be sure to comment your pictures of uh, your afters and um, anything else that worked for you that maybe I didn't mention um, or, you know, some alternatives to some other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.